Okay, so I was going to switch to a different weapon, the H3D, then I accidentally pressed A, <laughs> and now I'm stuck with this weapon, so, um, <laughs> mm, mm. I'm going to see how this works, because, like, I can't imagine winning this one, and if I don't win this one, then, uh, I shouldn't be surprised. I don't even know how you're supposed to win a turf war in a 1v1 with this weapon in particular, because, like, this weapon is not meant for turfing. I mean, it can turf, if it wants, but it, if we're comparing it to that guy, right there with Splatter Shot, then my weapon's nothing, essentially. I mean, unless this man's gonna rush me down, or unless I get my Ink Storms as quick as possible, then maybe. Otherwise, I can't imagine winning this. At all. Like, at all. Like, I, I, I like, like, just how slow the weapon is, like... This man can turf so much better than me, every way, shape, or form. I mean, again, unless I get directs on him like that, then I'll be fine. But directs on him isn't going to be really often. So it's more going to be the splash damage shots. But I'll do what I can. And this is what I can right now. One of this man is trying to rush me down. Like, he hardly get any turf or anything. This thing I got in my mouth. What is, what is this thing I got in my mouth? It's honestly, like, a little distasteful. Is he in danger or what? Whoa, where'd he come from? Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, you're running. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Wait, where did I stick that under? There we go. Got him. Red 90, even though we're pink. So you know what? That don't matter to me that much. Really hoping to get him with one of these suction bombs. One of them, at least. Just one of them. Or I can get you with my splash damage, just like that. I mean, that works too. That's fine with me. So I'll, you know, do that, of course. And, uh, yeah. You know, the more I think about it, I don't think I've actually said people's names when I'm doing these 1v1s. Maybe it could also be the fact that, um, a lot of these 1v1 requests I'm getting are also coming from Instagram, so it's just like... I don't want to say their name and just get it completely incorrect, because, you know, that'd be me these days. Wow, it took forever for one of us to die. Okay. Alrighty. That is just uh, a bloody wonderful. And yeah, I don't know how, but I want with a range blaster. Oofy doop. I mean, maybe it could be the fact that you were kind of mostly trying to rush me down. But you know, whatever. I'm not saying anything. Mm. I mean, you did get that one cool kill on me, so good for you, uh, Draven? Is it Draven, or am I saying that wrong? Alrighty. Now I picked the H3D. Now I picked it. Which, it's on Rainmaker, so I'm not gonna- I'm not so sure how this is gonna work, but I mean, we'll see. We'll find out and see how this goes. Also, dang, that SRB2 dude is kind of right. This weapon does turf a lot. Like, I, like, when he was talking about, like, the whole, like, so the H3D's special points went up from 210 to 220, I was just like, doesn't that mean there's, like, no point in using a, uh, H3D whatsoever? Wouldn't that just mean you should just start using the, uh, NZAP 85? Which, at some level, I'm kind of right, but that SRV2 dude is right. Yeah, sure, it went up by 10 points, but this weapon turfs a lot. And I mean, sure, it is kind of hard to aim with the weapon, but like he said, this weapon turfs a lot. So, I was wrong about it. He was right. I was absolutely bloody wrong. Ooh, okay. Predict where he went, though? Ooh. That was a nice looking shot, I guess. I'm gonna just gonna kill you one more time for the sake of the video. I think I'm... Is my Pro Control doing that weird thing where it like, likes to shift? Because it can. Maybe it is, I don't know. 
It probably is, but what I mean, whatever. Anyways, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A GG's, mister. A GG's. A GG's. Absolutely wonderful. X rank. Oof. I mean, well, C minus. I mean, you gotta do some more, I say. I don't know what I'm trying to say at this point. Maybe I'm just being rude and I just don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. I picked the H3D again. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like in some levels this is gonna go well for me? I don't know? That really depends whether if, uh... If, uh, what I was gonna say, um... It just really depends whether if, uh... I, I can just do it. Which, obviously, I can get the first zone, but now it really depends whether if I can get that zone right there. Which I guess I did. Maybe it's not so bad. Which I actually thought the HGD was just not a good weapon at that point because of the whole, like, you know, points. Like, now it takes 210 or 220. Which, again, I was wondering, like, well, if it's to 220, then what's the point of using an HGD when you could just use an end zap? When they both have the same kit. But the HGD, uh. Oh, shoot. This guy's actually after me. Okay. The H3D, um, has more range, has more lethal power, and has more ac- and has more, uh, has a more handable RNG. Where with the end zap, the RNG's a little bit random, like, uh, what was I gonna say, um, like with many other average weapons. I think it has a little bit more RNG than the, uh, splatter shot, I think. Pretty sure it is. Alright, take over that zone. I'm just gonna plant a suction bomb. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Where are you going, fam? Ooh, okay. That works too. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. But I think, but again, like I said, I think. What I just didn't know is that there are still technically reasons to use an H3D over an NZAP 85. But, I mean, you know, it is really dependable whether if uh, you want to go out of your way to use something that's kind of hard to, you know, use in a way. But, I mean, whatever. Alright, here we go, guys. Going with my good old Explosher friendly main thing here. Let's go. The custom one. The one that recently got nerfed not too long ago. It literally got nerfed, like, its ink consumption has increased. The, uh, the hitbox of the weapon has decreased. So now you just have to be a little bit more accurate with the weapon in general. You can't just decide to shoot somewhere and just be like, ah, oh, yeah! I mean, even though I kind of just did it right there, but, like, that was based off of the fact I was actually pointing at him. Like, I, like, if I were to not look at him in the pre-patch, that would have worked. But if I look, but now it's kind of a thing where I kind of have to look at him. And plus, the special points value has increased to where now it requires more points to get baller. And I'm actually surprised myself that worked. So that's, uh, wonderful. And, uh, yeah. So I got some ink recovery up, ink saver main, and all that stuff. All that good boy stuff. Oh, okay. You exist, friendly boy. That was a big oof. Biggie oof. Biggie oof. Biggie oof. Biggie oof. And Biggie oof. And Biggie oof. And Biggie oof. There we go. Just point. I want to point in the way where I'm. Wait, wait. Is this the correct way? I don't know, fam. We're going to see how that works. I'm going to just keep going. You know, I don't think of anything suspicious from me, fam. No, 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 don't you worry. <laughs> don't you worry, fam. Nothing, totally nothing happened at all. Totally nothing. Totally nothing, my dude. Okay. Well, that was just great. You know, I'm just letting you guys know, for those of who who do want to do 1v1s with me, I just want to let you guys know, just just play a little bit more ranked, alright? Just play a little bit more ranked. Is that really hard to ask? Maybe it is. I don't know. Okie dokie. Um, 
Uh, yeah, we're, we're playing. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm mostly just trying my best to just be more flexible with the weapons. Trying to go for, uh, as many weapons as possible. Rather than just sticking to the Kensa Spiral Shot Pro. Especially in this patch right now, it's considerably really monstrous. Like, it's, it's a literal monster. Like, they killed this Kensa Sashi Machine. They kind of killed it. It's not completely dead, but, I mean, it's nerfed hard. Now it's just like, now the, uh, the Kensa Spiral Shot Pro exists. Because not only the Booyah Bomb buff, but also its main power-up ability where it increases damage. So that, you know, exists. But like, just the overall, again, the Kensa Spiral Shot Pro is a midliner weapon with an aggressive kit. And on top of the fact that it has that main power-up stuff, which makes its damage increase, which makes two shots more, um, what was gonna say, uh, more common. The weapon is a monster. Especially with the overall main weapon. It's like one of the, like, uh, the Splash Shot Pro is just one of those main weapons where it's like, it's a good main weapon, but it doesn't have the best kit all the time. Like, you have the, um, you have the regular one with a good special, but not really that good of a sub weapon. Then you have the Forge one with a good, um, what was I gonna say, uh, then you have the Forge one with a good, um, sub weapon, and a decent special. I was gonna say a good special, but it's not really that great because of how much it's gotten nerfed. I mean, heck, Splashdown actually counters bubbles now, so that's the thing. Like, it used to be a thing where if you do Splashdown on bubbles... Uh, it would shrink the bubbles to an incredible minimum. Now, if you do splashdown on the bubbles, the bubbles will just die. Like, regardless of its size, it'll just die. Which is honestly pretty sad. So, Rip Forge Pro and all the other weapons with, uh, with splashdown stuff. Ooh, okay. And then you have the Kensa Splash Shot Pro. The Booyah Bomb wasn't that great, according to many people, at the very beginning. But, um... No one really used the main power-up with the Forge Splash Shot Or, not the Forge Splash Shot. No one really used the main power-up with the Splash Shot Pro, because people didn't really know whether that was good or not. And then, people kind of started doing it after the Booyah Bomb buff. And then now we're in this era where the F Kensa Splash Shot Pro is a monster. Along with the other Splash Shop Pro friends. Maybe not the Forge, maybe? I'm not sure. Especially since, uh... And maybe the regular one, too, since, um... Both Point and Sensor. And Inkstorm got nerfed in a respectful ma Even though, um... Even though, uh, Point Sensor actually only received a minor nerf, where it's Velocity, Speed, and the range of it has decreased by the slightest bit. But, it's ink consumption has decreased, so you know what that means? You get to use two point sensors. Which, I've said that in another 1v1, but I mean, whatever. So yeah. It's kind of, actually, that kind of reminds me of the Splatoon 1 point sensor. Remember that? Remember how you were able to use two of them? But they weren't really that great. But the fact that they weren't that great, they made it up for the fact that you can use two. Well, in this game, now they put it in the same situation. Now you can finally use two-point sensors. Which is, to me, is absolutely wonderful. And is needed, in a way. I feel like it was needed. Well, I feel like... I don't want to say it was needed, but I would say it's a nice bonus up for a sub-weapon that people have been figuring out that, hey, it's actually not really that great. But, I mean, whatever. I'll range you, boy. Oh yeah, since because the hitbox of the uh, Kensa Sashi Machine, or the Sashi Machine in general, got nerfed. Technically, that also means the, uh... What was I gonna say, uh... Technically, that also means the range got nerfed. Alright, there we go, that's a GG. Finally. I think I was just rambling a lot about the weapons themselves rather than the actual fight, but you know what, whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys get the point. And all that types of stuff. Maybe that's why I don't really have that many people to watch. Maybe they just don't like my commentary. Who knows? Maybe I just need to figure out how to amp it a little bit better. But anyways, GG's to you, uh, Dre Van. Van, GG's.
Thank you.